Wait, I forgot how to add people. <laughs> All right, no, I got it, I got it. Uh, dang. Let me see. I think that Moni is gonna accept the request on that end. Yay! I'm so happy because I'm freaking out. How you doing, the boy? Good, I'm good. What's up, Omani? It's feeling good, man. It's feeling so good. I'm very nice excited. Time. Yeah, I'm so excited because you are. I know you. I know who you are. I went to high school with your sister. She's one of my best friends. Um, yeah. And it's really cool and amazing to see you take on music. Um, you, your, your power and your like advantage over a lot of people is that you have so much content so let's start talking about instagram and social media as a platform first because i feel like you use instagram differently than most people do you more especially artists so talk about how you started rapping because i referred to you i'm like he's an instagram rapper and everybody's like okay i know what that means it's like you're consistently posting videos and freestyling so tell some people about how you use instagram um when it comes to your music? Like, when I first started making my music, I was living with my mom and grandma. Mm -hmm. Like, Amar can vouch, A. Scar, he can vouch, right? And they'd be like, boy, you too loud. So I'd go in the basement, right? <laughs> grandma would be like, boy, what you doing in that basement? So I'd be like, man, I'm not So i just start going outside, going down with Hilton, right? And my, and my brother, Codeine, he had just record me right there up the wreck. So it became like that was the environment where my music could um could grow, flourish, you know, without no, no uh, resistance. So I started yes. to, like, get addicted to that, like, my homies would be like, yo, I love that, that's hard, and I'll be showing people, right? But then I started to show people, and it wasn't really, um, you know, I like to get better. So when I record the videos, I watch them, and I articulate better. I wasn't going to the studio, so me mm -hmm. putting them up on Instagram and recording it, that's like me going to the studio and then dropping it on all platforms, you know what I'm saying? Oh. But in my head, I was doing something, you know? Yeah. No, that's yeah. that's great. I think that, um, like, especially with social media in general, it's all about consistency. And you are one of the most consistent artists I know. And you also do well with promo. You send out your songs. Um, what gave you these ideas? Like, did you think of all of this yourself? Or do you have, like, did you see other rappers maybe do it? Like, how did you choose how you wanted to promote your own music? Um, I just want to keep in touch with my dogs and my family and friends. And Instagram allows you to tap the little corner box, like the little triangle thing, and it sends it to everybody you talk to already. So just keeping my friends in the loop, you know, it became re repetition, but then trying to use, like, other uh, resources, like, um, tell people, like, look, can you repost my actual video of me rapping? And then it'll be like, it's a flood of me rapping instead of just repost, repost, repost. Mm. Doing that, man, a lot of different people <laughs> see my page and they got familiar with it and they come look me up. But then it became, like, um, a social landing. I wanted to have all of my platforms on my page, my Spotify, Instagram, and everything. So when you come here and I to you, you have a lot to take in. Like, if I send you one video and you do come to my page, it's a lot of places you can go to afterwards. So I think that was my mm -hmm. biggest thing. Like, set it up, and then when I do post something, send that out. And when people come in, if they, if they like what they like, they shop around. They look around and shop around. That's so smart. Yes. And I like that you send it because, or well, I like the way that you post it sometimes because it'll play. Like as soon as I put it on my story, the video will start playing versus me seeing the post, going to the post, going to your page. And I think that's what tra um, attracts people quicker and grabs their attention more anyway. So yeah, tell you with the real? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, you talking about with the rails? Yeah, the rails are a good way to yeah. um, talk about the same thing. Mm -hmm. No, I love the reels. I think that that's the way to go. So yeah. tell everybody a little bit about your background, where you come from, and your family and your upbringing. Yeah, I'm from uh, East Baltimore, you know. Grew up around <laughs> Lorraine and Bartley because I was a kid, you know. Um, lived all over the city, you know. My mom said we from news, no stuff, east and west, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <That's how it laughs> you know, for real. You know my mom. But yes, like, I love your mama. Shout out to Big Tim. Yeah, shout out to Lil T. You know how it goes. <laughs> but honestly, honestly, though, like, um, it's love wherever. I feel like I'm a part of a consciousness level. It's people that think like me 
you know, work hard and grind, and we relate. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we get along no matter where you at, and that's all over the world. I'm blessed uh-huh. to be able to go to New York a lot because my dad's from New York. So anybody know me, they know I'll be out in New York doing my thing. So it's yeah. like you see real love and you come back to a place where it's not as much of it and you want to make it like that. You want to show what, what can be because you're only going to be what you see. So you got to show people different. That's all. So me being me, I'm going to be that everywhere in the world. Love it. Yes, facts. Tell them a little bit about your dad. And I like how you, you posted a video with him. I think y'all have, y'all are similar when it comes to like really sticking true to what you really believe in and showing up in that, in everything you do, even through your music. Um, tell me a little bit about your parents. I think you have great parents. They are. They yeah, like really my mom, up. my mom and my dad are certified hustlers, but you know they come from two different backgrounds. So my mom mm-hmm. like basically put on for herself, raised herself, taught herself a lot of things. So she yes. tried to instill those same things in me early. Like me and DJ had a store set up in middle school, I mean, elementary school, where we selling snacks, you know what I'm saying? Um, my mom encouraged me to go to, like, uh, Nesby, Nesby groups, National Society of Black Engineers, or to go to middle school and do little dad stuff. Anything mm-hmm. positive plays at Garrison. Anything positive, you know, no one's going to hurt nobody. So showing myself that I could do anything and be anything without no limits, it's like, man, yeah. I want to be the best things, not not only what's available, like the worst things. And my dad, he's from Trinidad, right? So he has, he has a hard time speaking, you know, he stutters a little bit, you know, but he went to jail and came home at 18, mm-hmm. went to jail and came home and he had me and it's like, yo, he never got to be out here at my age. Mm-hmm. So he constantly mm-hmm. tells me how to structure myself and move. Like I have a real OG for real. So the way I move is just completely different. I don't go to strip clubs. I don't go to casinos. First time at the casino when I was out of town and you all in, I put my money in there and it didn't make no sense because it was 10 buttons to lose it. I trade currency now. It was only two buttons and you went on both. So mm-hmm. you got you to gotta be exposed to a way of thinking before you, your body can follow that path. Yes, that's that's amazing. Thank you for sharing it. I really appreciate that. Yeah, right. What's up, so, man? What's up, Kwan? Yeah, shout out to everybody tuning in on the live. Thanks hey, what's so up, big cuz? Mari, what's up, Kwan? Yeah, I love it. I love it. What's up, everybody? Yes, this is amazing. So I want to get into the music because I'm very, first of all, I know you, so I'm extra hard on your music. I'm extra hard on your music. And I think that you have some of the best messaging when it comes to making these songs. My personal favorite is um, Dope. The, the, The cover art. Fire, who did that? When I was in um my program for BTI, I met a girl mm-hmm. who was really good at edits for real. She didn't finish the class, but mm-hmm. she was really artistic. And I, I told her, like, look, man, you can do this. I'll pay you to do it. And she thanked me for for, for believing in her dreams because her, her family didn't really believe that her, 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 her creations could pay, right? And mm-hmm. I showed her how easy it could happen. Easy, and it yeah. This, yeah, and it's like, wow, if, if the people around you don't believe in you, you, you won't believe in yourself. It, it's like people don't support what you love to do they support what they love about you mm-hmm. that's true i was just i just met with a guy who's selling clothes and i told him i said when you sell stuff it really don't matter the actual product you're selling it's you you're selling yourself your brand people want a piece of who you are and yes. you could be selling salt shakers you could be selling fake flowers it really don't matter it's who it is and it's about the marketing behind it and you know how you're pushing it so that's that's true that's true yeah. um what other song did i want to talk about um i listened to blue cash a lot when wow. i was I, I i listened to your music here and there but when i was preparing for the interview i would just <laughs> listen to it a lot like i was and i kept going back to blue cash um that was the meek beat yeah what, yeah yeah what were you yeah. feeling like what that song heavy what were you feeling when you wrote that uh, honestly, I still remember to this day. Nobody mm. believe in me, yo. Like I, I, I have something powerful, mm-hmm. but it's bothering everybody because they ain't got it in them, and they don't want to bring it out of themselves. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to be what I am. I'm trying to be a flame around tissue. Mm. Be cut different. If you close, you're gonna burn away, not gonna exist no more. But I live with a lot of candles. It's like, yo, you could have a flame, but you don't want to ignite it, and you mad at mine's burning, right? So it's just been a year I've been going so hard. Remember the nights mm-hmm. I was starving with Scar, my brother. Hey. 
Last time you had me a dollar was saving up pennies inside of the job, my, my, my blue piggy bank. No, that's, yes. I started yes. taking no job for real, yo. And I started me a modeling business to make sure that, that people can eat, you know, the girls can eat. They kept little talent for my mom of the bill. And I said, boom, let me start bringing together my resources to take some photos, start setting some girls up, give some hope, give some some confidence, man, something different. And, I, and, and I'm pushing that in my energy, like, yo, I'm going so hard to get the way I go, where I'm trying to get to, but I'm already there, I'm already that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be what I am when I'm there. I just gotta be better to be able to have it come to me. I had to be a better man to receive the blessings that I have today. And the blessings I want, I want to have tomorrow, I gotta prepare for those. It's simple as that. Yeah. You feel me? That's, that's facts. You definitely have to prepare. You gotta put yourself in position. And like you said, when people have a gift, sometimes that scares them. Sometimes they're gonna, you know, run away from their gift or do the opposite because they don't know. They, they, it's not never been done before. They don't have any examples. They don't have any hope. We live in a city full of hopeless people, and that's really what that's really what said. It's not about, even just about money and poverty. It's about not having no hope, not believing that anything can be any different. Right, 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 right. Um, okay. Um, what else? Let's talk about Back for Good. That's is that your newest song you would say? I think that's your newest song. That's my newest song out, yeah. Back for Good. Like I made that for real because my man's um I always look out for people. I don't really be needing enough for nobody. You mm. know, and my dog hit me up, was like, yo, I need twenty dollars. You know, I always give him twenty dollars. And I ain't gonna get back into that story for real. But I'm sending my music to cuz and um mm. they'll tell me like, Yeah, yo, don't send me no more music. You can't even respond to that message asking for money. Mind you, I called on the holidays, making sure shit good and all that, right? I don't even talk like this, you feel me? But my music became an energy like, dang, like you could give the skin, you could the clothes off your back to somebody, then the skin off your nerves, yo, and then that still won't be enough, you feel me? So it's like, damn, I'm eating off a plastic plate. You want me to get my last away? You feel me? I'm saying what my girl think of this, but you see me doing numbers. Now you tell me to get that gas a break. That's where I'm gonna come from. I'm like, man, we had the same shit on that clock. You mad I felt the faster way. For real, yeah, he got me that job and he couldn't even keep it. So it's like, yo, I'm coming from here with it. You feel me? From here with it. I ain't making none of this shit up. That's how I feel. So then my next song, you're going to feel like, mm, he just coming for somebody neck. Like, like you know, and that's just what it is. You feel me? I make the music where, where I'm coming from. It ain't nothing more than that. I, I got to be driven to go. I, have, I be having something to say. I ain't just saying that's, something. Yes, that's, the, that's what I was trying to say when we hopped on. Like, when I listen to your songs, you really had things to say. You really don't feel empty. It don't feel like a club song. It really, I was, I've been listening like, oh my goodness. And it's things that everybody can relate to. Like everybody, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you work, no matter who you be with, everybody can relate to that. Oh, thank you um, so much. Who did that video? How was, how was that? The video shoot? I love the, the actual promo of it. Like you holding the cell phone. But I know him as her. We went to uh, we worked together at my first job back in um 2016. Papa John's, he an older dude, right? It's my dog. Though. <laughs> he actually shot my first video um in the snow for cold nights. I was at the village, and then we went down with Hilton, and then we went over east on Preston Street. You know, cause I get big love where I go at, right? So yeah. he got shot in the face because somebody tried to rob him for two hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? He didn't give it up. Right there on like Biddle. You know what I'm saying? Left 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 to bleed out. Woke mm -hmm. up, caught caught the little ambulance. He got in the hospital, right? My bro was still working on my video in the hospital and came out and came back into consciousness, y'all. You feel me? On the laptop, tweaking that joint. So it's like, it's like, I get, and that was for free. I ain't, had, I, I ain't even give him the money yet. I gave him money after that joint, right? Because he ain't even want, he ain't want me to uh, pay him, right? But I gave it to him afterwards, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't know that was going to happen. I knew mean, that was going to happen. I ought to pay them more, you know? So this time I made sure, like, I gave that money up front. It was last minute. And my dog is great the way he do. He here hop up out the bed for me. You know, oh, cause I oh, oh. I exactly. It was last minute. We ain't planned it. And then my, my dogs came over. I ne I didn't invite them over there. They had to pop up. You know what I'm saying? That's I was gonna be on Yes, and then they, they wearing the um my man's clothing brand to uh stay humble. My man my man's uh corner the done, he had the clothing brand and I promote black owned businesses when I do my videos. I had rich nobodies on my last one talk to me and I got mm -hmm. my man stuff on there on this, this this new one and on my next one I'm gonna have a uh, fair dying broke. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to promote black owned businesses in Baltimore. Nothing Absolutely. else. No, it's no all more about white people business. from all across the country. Yeah, no, no more of that. That's played out. That's not even cool. Yeah, I feel that. So when you, um, like, what was that process like? So y'all all met, they all were all there for the day. How long did it take for him to get it back? That was fast. Yeah, like, we definitely met up in, like, like late night, you know, shot it for, like, maybe an hour and a half. 
And then and who um, did your graphic? Did you do that yourself? That was really good. You talking about the rail? I put the rail together like that, but uh, but he did all the graphics. My man Oatmeal does all the graphics. He, oh, he did everything. Yeah, he worked hard, cover art and all that. I never did a cover art, and I never dropped a song after the video, you know. So that was brand new. He made the cover art from the video, and because I was moving around and whatnot, I ain't I ain't planned for that. It was hard for him to get a shot, but he made it work. So it's like he made something out of nothing. He loved to cook. Them say somebody who cook mm -hmm. and love to cook. He loved to cook. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh... <laughs> So when did you start actually like realizing like I'm nice like I really can rap I'm about to start really putting it out there heavy the way you are. Um, he told me, man, on my first song by myself, right? I said, I said, fellas, holds a lens like a quiz if he was testing you. Left his face, I read up in the street. I caught him obsessing me. Talk about some shit I was just getting into for real, right? And mm -hmm. then I was like, damn. No, for real. I, was, <laughs> I, I still can't believe it though. sometimes. I'm like, look at this guy out of him. That is so crazy. Um, who records all your videos in the car? Different people. My mm -hmm. baby butter do it. That's my girl I call it baby butt. Because <laughs> it's so soft. Then my, my <laughs> homies up at work. Homies up at work, you know. Like, it, I, but my, but I ain't, man, forget that. And it's not about the car. I ain't had no car at first. If I was walking every, everywhere, every day, you feel me? Um, my man's, my man's, uh, my man's Codeine, you know, Keith. He recorded me every day at the, at the rec. Every day at the rec. He was there with every day. Every day of, of our musical career, we worked. We learned how to get the lyrics up there. We learned how to connect our page. We learned how to get the shows. We learned how to get on, on iTunes. We learned how, how to be confident. Yeah, that, 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 was, that, 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 that was us. That's something I wanted to talk about. So when you, when you, you, used to, you did a, um, a couple EPs, I mean, a couple of singles, and then you did the album. When, what, was the like what allowed you to feel like all right i'm ready to do an album because i know you post a lot of singles when did you want to make that transition to like let me put this the stuff together and put an album on um, um honestly honestly it was well overdue right but uh, the way it worked was i had a, a ep and i put it on spin villa through one of my homies accounts who did music before me so then okay. he put uh that was called jungle jump Matter of fact, my homie, I went to school where he made a cover up for Jungle Gym, you know what I'm saying? I recorded oh. damn near all those songs on my phone next to grab my room, mommy room, you feel what I'm saying? With the, um, I put the earphone speaker with the voice thing inside mm -hmm. of a, um, what's it called again? A tissue carton, the, 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 little, the little brown thing. Uh -huh. And I cut out a little spare into it so I could spit into it so that thing would only hear me. No, for real, I'm, a, I'm an engineer, so I, I'm up there, right? So then I was just doing that thing and then I just one take, did it, dropped it. My man made cover up for me. He did one take. Everything was one take. Everything one take. You can still hear that it. So the quality ain't great, but it is what it is. You, you feel me? So boom, I tell my dog, "Look, man, I'm trying. I'm trying to get on on Spin Miller. So dude, basically, uh, changed the password after he ran on me on some real weird stuff. He ran on me, treated me like I did something right. So I'm like, all right, cool. That forced me to go learn how to uh get my own account. It was too easy. After that, I dropped my uh my tape. So my EP had like a thousand on his on his on his thing with four songs. Mm -hmm. Then my tape did numbers too. So I'm like, all right. I'm, I'm going to go a little bit further, for real. I ain't going to stay here. So mm -hmm. I went on a run, ended up going to Atlanta, and they told me how to get on Apple Music. Came back here, put my team on, and we oh moving. You feel me? It wasn't it. I couldn't yeah. learn nothing here from nobody. They don't know nothing here. They wasn't going to tell me nothing here. I came here telling people how to do what I learned, and I learned how to grow from that. You feel me? Dang. Simple as that. Mm. And it's deeper than that. You want to you you get to the business for real? It's deeper yeah. than just have your music on Spin Rilla, have your music on iTunes. What you need to do is own your beats. Own yes. every yes. single beat, pay them off, and then you're going to BMI your song. A BMI is a, a performing rights organization. They're going to pay you for every time your song gets played in the background audio on earphones, a car speaker, a phone, a, a show, club, party, anything. Mm -hmm. Then you want to copyright those be in my songs and your lyrics at the same time. You get an IPI address. It's a number for your um your label, your publishing mm -hmm. company, and your artist slash composer name. And you want to connect your ISCW number. You get that for every song that you register. Those things get you paid when you uh sound when you when you uh sound exchange it. When you sound exchange it, you, you get your uh... copyright money, right? Boom. After that, you want to put your lyrics up. You got to get on Music Match. I use Digital Kit. Digital Kit uploads their lyrics to Music Match. You want to get a verified Music Match with your artist, and then you get a publisher Music Match. They pay you for your for your lyrics dancing everywhere. You get a license agreement. Really? Yeah, really. And if you want to get, get videos up on, uh, on 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 iTunes, Vivo, Spotify, everywhere, mm -hmm. you got to get a piece of the account. 
people not may invest into themselves. People ask me, how do you get your music on, on, yeah, on Digital Care, right? I mean, on uh, on all platforms. I sent my link to Digital Care, right? That means I get like five dollars, they get seven percent off, right? I sent to like three people. I clicked got eighty five clicks, probably a hundred by now, right? Like three signups. People only want to know what you do. They don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. You know. So wait, so that once you learned all of this, that's when you did the album. No, I learned that in the process. I ain't know nothing when I dropped my album. I said, I'm going to learn. Uh, People warning me. You could be sued. You could be this. You could be that. But I could be stuck if I don't do something now. That's my biggest fear. I mm-hmm. punch that praise when I get there. I bet God going to cover me. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. That's my that's my walk of faith. Though. That's my walk of faith. My level of faith come from me getting dragged out with you. I thought it was, it was the last for me. But mm-hmm. I never felt like it was the last for me. It just could have been the last because if anybody would have been through it, it would have been their last. But that's not what my story was, yo. That's what's up. Oh my goodness. So now, okay, so where do you feel like you are now? Like, now that you have all this information, you have great information. I feel like you have a good team. Talk a little bit about TMM, the movement itself, the people involved, what y'all stand for. Where do you feel like y'all are now, considering all of those things that you went through, the fact that you have had success with your music? Like, talk about that a little. Um, I, I just think I'm in, in the business of uh, just um showing that you can. You can do anything and be anything that you choose to be if you don't let mm-hmm. other people's uh, opinions affect you. My TMM started off as a, uh, hey, bro, I think you're talented. You think I'm talented. Let's try to make something shake for real. Like, let's, try to, let's, try to, let's try to grow, like, you know? And then it became, like, tough things started to happen. And then we started to just express how we were feeling, right? So we started to get through stuff. Like, it wasn't about the glory, the money, females, none of that. It was just like, yo, like, we're trying to hone our skills and do this. And it was like, it was dope to have somebody appreciate your mm. talent, you know? Because people be hating on anything. But then yes. it became serious when, 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 when we're like, yo, like, I'm tired of just rapping with you, doing our thing, and showing it to people and everything. Like, like I want to put it out there. I, I really want to want to see who can relate. Oh, matter of fact, I remember now. My homie hit me, right? He heard one of my songs on my phone. And I was like, um, it, it was Make My Way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I said, my own work in freedom just to make sure we ain't hungry no more. But when I, but when you see me, you don't hug me no more. My, how you feeling? You don't love me no more? And is you happy when you see your son come through the door or what? But we don't got to talk about it. We can just roll a blunt. And I remember chasing buses. You were walking, not running, just to catch it for you. I love you, mom, doing this to get the message to you. Remember me bringing breakfast to you? And my homie told me, he damn near related to that whole thing right there, right? It's the song yes. running for the bus, making breakfast for his mom. And I'm, I'm I'm feeling vulnerable and a piece of pain in my heart. I'm like, yo, if someone can relate, relate to this, and I'm not the only one, I got to show people that we ain't the only ones feeling this. It's people that mm-hmm. sacrifice a lot more than others, and we feel like we're the only ones that bear that burden. But no, nah, man, crutches got to lean on crutches. So it, And that's what it is. Kings amongst kings helping kings support each other. You know, that's all Tamron really is, yo. It, it's the money motivated. It, I ain't motivated by the money, man. I'm motivated by the impact the money has. Money is a tool. Mm-hmm. Who can I help? Who life can I, can I change? You know, I'm not giving money to people who ask for all the time. But if I'm on the corner and I'm driving squeegee boys, I got a dollar for all of them. They out here all day. Come on, man. That's what it's about. Yeah. My favorite thing you said is, how can I hate me a man when I love God? What, let's talk about that song. What song is that? I can't remember. That's, um, um, that's COVID-410. Yeah, COVID-410. Where were you at when you wrote that? Cause that's that was crazy to me. Like I love COVID four one zero. I was uh sitting in my girl's room, you know, we was living. <laughs> I was sitting in her room. I'm like, babe, like, how can I hate me, man, when I love God? Like truly, like I recognize the God in myself when I wake up in the mirror. So mm-hmm. I see that when it's reflected in other people. If people not tapped in with a God sent, they're not going to be able to recognize that God sent. And and I look at I look at spiritual principles like um like for example um. Like integrity, that's like mm-hmm. cologne. People can smell when it's not on you. You know what I'm saying? And like, mm-hmm. and like humility, that's like that's, that's like a watch. You ain't gotta say nothing, hold it up. Look at your, you really know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? So I be trying to put in things in layman's terms because the Bible calls us um, ordained priests and proverbs, right? So I can break down that shit in layman's terms and put it out there. So how can I hate me, man, when I love God? God says you can't hate your brother and love him. I'm just trying to wake, like, wake people up. Like, they don't know what they're saying, but they're going to say it anyway, right? So they're going to say mm-hmm. nonsense, but I don't know what they're saying. They're going to say it anyway, right? So let's say something positive. Everybody can, can touch your soul, your spirit, and grow you, right? Without knowing what you're doing, right? So you know you're subconsciously making yourself better. That's mm-hmm. it. I love that. You don't it, understand man. how powerful that is. 
I in understand, city yo. We, we got more brothers who died from having the wrong influence. If my if, if my brother wasn't here right now, his son had, had to live off his words. Would he be misguided, his son? Mm. Or would he be showing him the way? So you think about your responsibility, yo. Are you gonna watch what you say out your mouth? Cause God said, yo, reap what you sow out your tongue, cause it's life and death, and, and you'll get it if you love using it. You get whatever you speak out your tongue, for real. Yes, true. Do you feel like, um, like all of these principles that you live by and everything? Like, I I noticed that you speak a lot on your Instagram. Also, um, you are very in tune with what's going on within the community, and you usually wish your opinion on that. I love that. Do you see yourself one day um, putting together like an official project where you are speaking or where you are constantly giving, you know, your ideas and your thoughts on the things that are going on today? I, I do that now. I'm an independent consultant for the city. I work with um, a nonprofit called Baltimore's Promise, and they had an organization called Grads to Careers, where they help graduates of Baltimore cities get to career fields. And because mm-hmm. I graduate for that, um, I am a, um, an advocate to the funders and like, for example, I work on a literacy workforce group to improve the literacy in black and brown communities. And I work with um, the CEO of Johns Hopkins, the CEO of Maryland State, CEO oh, of Kim Freaker, and a lot of other people, big people, right? And they be crying on the meetings because giving my, my input. But they know the system is designed to work for some people, a few people, and it hurt the rest, well, well us. Mm-hmm. And when I say these things, it's like, they're not confused. They know what's going on, but they, they, they're in a position where they say that it can risk their position, right? I ain't on nobody's uh, clock. I come in here, I say this is like, okay, he's saying this so we can move on it, right? But if more right. of us were saying this and more of us were offended by the things that's happening, more of us were educated and informed and not ignorant to it, we all would be vocalized. So I'm just speaking mm-hmm. for a lot of other people who ain't in a position to say something. That's all. I'm paying it forward. Fighting a battle that needs to be fought or we'll lose. I'd rather go down swinging by myself. I love it. I'm here for that. Totally. Okay, well, um, okay. what's next? What's next for music? What's next for music? I'm dropping my new Forex song. It's coming out soon. <clears throat> it's called uh, it's called Cash and Peace. You know what uh, I'm saying? I'm um, thinking about really uh, doing a video for that. Have my team coming down. You know, I could probably show a little something, something, you know? You want to hear that? Yeah. Damn, no shit. Motivated my soul music. Hit one, pick me and leave. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, look, it was only one thing on my cortex. What? How can I eat in my sleep? I ain't better than myself. So I think that I'm more blessed. Actually, I'm better. Let's go, yes. I want with faith when God put me to the test. No stress. Working on your nerve, got a hate upset. Call five steps, you ain't leveled up yet. One thing on my cortex. What? How can I eat in my sleep? Like a snow, like position, it could go for it. Okay. I don't think that I'm more blessed. Actually, I'm blessed. So, yes. I want with faith when God put me to the test. No stress. Working on your nerve, got a hate upset. Call five steps, you ain't leveled up yet. Get a halo for reaching like Master Chief. Rapping on me, call me cash. Remember the cash, and my homies laugh at me. I need a bridge, now I'm past the grief. Boy, don't smoke, so I ask the chief. They want to know how I'm. I'm doing the music part, moving on forward, I pass the key. It can't take no nasty see. Pretty like I ain't your majesty. I'm building the moat, I ain't drunk, I'm saying I'm float out here going ass the street. What? And my girl nasty G. I'm eating okay. like that on the back. I'm playing that pussy and splashing sheet. Remember when my flow was taxing me, you know, I feel like this thing is gas to me. Thank my cortex. What? How can I eat my seat like a snow leg? Stop playing out here, yo. How can I eat in my sleep? Okay. Stop playing out here, yo. Talk a little bit about trading. When were you introduced to it? Um, what has it done for you? My brother, oh, I rap with my whole life, Codeine. He said, mm-hmm. man, I'm doing Forex. You know, I was doing my own thing. I'm a scientist. I'm in the laboratory. That's dope, right? So then I'm like, man, that job working 12 hours a day, waking up to go work, it ain't cutting it for me. You feel me? So boom, I'm on a humble pop of John in it on a delivery tip. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get these tips, right? So then they get the plan with the check. I'm like, hey, bro, come over with me, bro. They give us $200 work together, right? He's like, all right, let's go make some more money. That's how we do. So then they pay both of us. I'm like, man, that's enough. I'm about to sign up on Forex, right? I made more money the same day I signed up. Um, more tips than I made that day in like a minute or something. I said, wow, you can you can get rich, right? So then I told my girl, I got I got the plan, I got the blueprint. And she signs up, right? And then we made our we made our impact back. I mean, we made our investment back. Um, we get residuals now, six hundred a month. I'm able to go on trips to New Orleans. I work I work until until I'm sick. Anybody knows you know I work so I can't even move no more, right? I'm out of state making money, you know, my mom eating eating food, drinking drinks, I don't drink, buying the weed, <laughs> making it back. The weekend oh. come, I'm like, yo, I gotta call my team. What are they gonna do without me? 
my girlfriend bringing in mad people, my team bringing in mad people. They all learning. I come back home and we rolling. I'm like, yo, my life is different now, yo. I, my girl told me you a different man, Marnie. You got all this energy, yo. It was like you you had to sleep all day and you still slept and it wasn't enough. But then you wake up out of bed, put your swag on and get it busy. I'm like, yo, yes, yes. All the sleep I had is enough. Cause now I'm chasing the dream I want. I, I'm in the world I want to be in. I'm not waking up into the world that I hate to be in. Now I can quantum leap into a better reality. It's more positive things locking in because I'm having an open mind to be able to control my world. Now, if you mm. working in somebody else's world, you working for their dream, you're going to be like, damn, I ain't doing nothing for myself. It's like coloring mm. outside of your own picture. You coloring all That's outside it. of your box. You coloring, but you don't feel bright inside. Right. Like putting a pencil in me, yo. You feel me? That's what's, that's what's going on now, if you understand. Yes, I love it. Um, I want to bring up the fact that you, you mostly do freestyles, of course, but you said that you had a song where you wrote. Um, you We had talked about it earlier. Which song was that? I was writing a song. Uh, I had a song I put together because my, uh, my man said it passed away. He blew up in like a, a, um, a accident with the oven. My man is um, mm, Joseph Ferrell. Yeah, it's crazy. And he even signed up on Grass to Caress. He always had faith in me. He always he knew what, what this was. He was bringing people together. And it was just real tragic. And I wrote a song to just express how I felt about that. Like, um, it's deep, man. I probably sent you one on one. I don't want to get into it. Yeah, but like yeah, yeah. It's, it's music like that, like the uh like the blue caches, like the talk to me's. I I didn't yeah. put him up for a long time to feel in that like talk to me, man. I it's watched my life. brother come to my house, yo, and he stumbled down the steps, and I knew something was wrong with him. It's just the real reality. I was really going to work that day. Mom telling me, boy, you smoke on your bunch. You need to calm down. Like, get your mind right. And it's like, yo, I can shed a tear certain, saying certain things. Even it, with dope, I really lost my cousin Tavon. That shit hurt. And it's like, I yeah. could have shed a tear saying that, you know? It's like, and when you go into the booth, you got to be able to um to compose yourself, yo. That's a whole different <laughs> art. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an art. It's an art to articulate yourself, yo. So that practice made me better. You know, that that practice, made that discipline made me stronger. Having to face those painful things and, and come back from that, it's like, it's like I become a champion of my own victories and my own... Like, it's like I take my words to find the strength in it. Places where I was I was powerless, now I'm powerful for vocalizing it. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I advocate that on the man's office so we can have more rec centers with... with um, with, um, with studios or something like that, like Mervo. Yeah, because music is is truly a therapy. And yeah. that's what, I mean, as much as people try to run away from it, mental health is a real thing. It's just like you got to work out your body, you got to work out your, you know, your emotions and your mental and make sure that it's just as strong. Um, that's something I do personally also feel strongly about. I think that music, introducing music as therapy would be really beneficial for this city where everybody loves music everybody's rapping yeah. let's give people the space to do that you know let's give people the resources so that that's what they want to do they can have some type of way to get there yes 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 i agree there's a lot of people who have a lot of money who agree with that too i tell you mm -hmm. um what else uh any new videos coming i know you got your song coming out um, your forex song. Are oh, you gonna have a video for the forex song? Yeah, I have a whole idea for it and everything. I'm gonna go down to the forex office. You know what I'm saying? Have everybody wear they uh, black shirts with they uh, sign up names, usernames, and everything. See, you know, my username is Tim M Cash Money. You know, I don't give a fuck all day. So that's just a big difference for me. And I just wanna uh, engage everybody. You know, because it's a brand new thing. I just wanna expose the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, my music comes from what I'm doing. And I'm really doing this, so it's like, and I believe in it, you know? I'm not, I'm not uh, BSing with nothing, so it's like, if I believe in this, I advocate in my music, it's just showing my people I'm taking something more serious. Um, and if you get what you get with it, don't you don't. You know, I'm still going to be good. Mm hmm Talk a little bit more about you. Um, you had mentioned earlier you traveling. I really felt like that was, um, that's something important to touch on. Everybody yeah. in our city thinks that Baltimore is the whole world. People come here, they're like, Baltimore is really its own. If, if people really think this is it, so talk to talk to people about you going to New York, going to New Orleans, and what those experiences meant for you. Yeah, uh, I go to New, um, New York all the time. I've been going there since I was a child. My dad lives there, right? Family, family. Mm -hmm. Um, these are my blood family. Classic, the same last name. I'm getting a hug on every every house, every corner. Hey, nephew. 
They never asked me for nothing. Mm. I was always fed and warmed and loved and safe and everything, 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 right? Here, I got family. It ain't the same. They're going to they gonna take from you until you can't breathe no more and ain't never going to do what they what you did for them. They're not. Um, it's make-believe. It ain't blood. You know, we, we don't owe each other nothing, so you only are what you try to be for the, for the next man each day. But people only as loyal as they last male, so I don't want no dogs for real. You know, because they, they'll bite your hand to, until your manicure chewed up. You know, so when it's family, I go to New York for family. Like, that's really love. I be playing, I be playing like I don't see what's really real down here. Because it was the point of, 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 of putting on somebody integrity, they ain't got no. Putting on somebody mm. humility, and they ain't got no. Putting on somebody discipline, they ain't got no. Putting on somebody responsibility, they ain't got no. You know what I'm saying? What's the point? But when I'm out in New Orleans for the first time, it's all love. Strangers, all love. Giving big old ghetto burgers, what they call them, for free. Yeah. Maybe it's because marijuana free, but, I mean, marijuana legal, you know what I'm saying? But love, yo, everybody in the corners, showing love, um, performing live. And that made me want to perform live, right? I made me want to go in the clubs and perform, right? It was all with it. My mom, the party, she walked in doing the Baltimore dances, right? And then I ran into a, um, an artist up there named King. He hot as hell. And the, the manifestation of me wanting to do my thing so bad, you right? It's so mm. bad, just always hit me. I ran into, yo, did my thing, and then people saw that, and they, and they, and they recognized that, they feel that, that's real. And it's like, you you bring, you attract what you want, you know? I'm not mad at nobody for doing anything. I can do mine. And then the opportunity presented itself because I was ready. That's just what it is, man. And when you hear it, it's like, you know, you know everybody, um, you know everybody not gonna be as supportive already. So you already, you already prepared for that, you know? Mm-hmm. We already are PTSD for that, you know. But you gotta be vulnerable, man. Nothing's wrong with being vulnerable, man. Everybody trying to put a band-aid over scars and lash out. Yeah, yo, but nah, nah, I do my thing. Can nobody defer me from my path? God already put that, that faith in me, you know? Once you lock in with your path, you can only keep moving forward. That's it. That's it, no matter where you go at. You know, be who you want to be every day. Not not what you're expected to be. Not what your mom and dad were. You know, it's all on you every day. Every day. Mm-hmm. How early did you feel like you, you took on this mindset of just being positive, being responsible for your own destiny, and being responsible for your future? Um, I think that you do a good job at honing in on that and really living living by that day today. When did you take that on, like, in your life? Was it something that happened? Were you young? How'd that go for you? I would say I really, like, took a grip on um on myself and, like, middle school. I, I actually wanted to go to, like, poly to be an engineer. You know, I had that whole setup. And when that plan crumbled, I became, like, I faced depression, and I didn't know that it was depression. But my mom couldn't really get me to go to school the same way. I was across the street from the city on the Alameda. And I had to go to school all the time and get AIDS, you know? But I, I, I ain't had that drive no more, man. Um... I had that drive because I felt like I had a whole plan. I did everything to make it happen and it crumbled. But sometimes you don't you don't you don't do what you want to do. You do something that God puts you in a position to do to get you to where you need to be at. So you gotta always appreciate where you at and where you going at, you know. And I did I didn't have that understanding yet. But when I really was able to get jobs and uh work for myself, uh get me more money to buy my own clothes, eat my food, you know, uh buy little things for my little chick, you know what I'm saying? I'm like I felt I was feeling myself. But I wasn't feeling like I was uh, fulfilling myself. So then when I um, started to make music and create, I'm like, yo, I'm bringing out. I'm not buying clothes to put on my body to, to feel away. I'm bringing the things out of me to make me feel away, to make, make me feel better. So now I'm pouring out to the world instead of trying to reach in, reach in, or reach out to pull in. And it's like, I, 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 I took my power at utilizing, utilizing the things that make me feel small until I can um, feel big about them. You know what I'm saying? And that's mm-hmm. and that's where I started to take responsibility on myself. If I had if I could control how I could make myself feel, then I had control over how I allow myself to feel. If someone else had the ability to make me happy, then they got mm-hmm. the same ability to make me sad. You know what I'm saying? Giving that power to myself more allowed me to grow faster responsibility. Cause you can't blame nobody for why you fucked up. Mm-hmm. No, no matter what they told you. You did that. And we got we got a lot of finger pointers, you know what I'm saying? Even with the three pointing back at them. You know, and it, it, that's basically where that comes from. It's like my, my dreams never uh never um never show me a way to get there, but you feel when you're in the right place doing the right thing. So just feel trusting my gut more, like not hanging around the people that ain't got nothing to do with my path, nothing to do with nothing, ain't gonna never do nothing. I'm just yeah. with them trying to be great. You know, mm-hmm. nah. You know, that's not how that works for real. You need the same energy to bounce off, but you're gonna be drained. 
So being around that's people, true. that's trying to be better. Like like Ahmad and Keith, my closest homies always pursue greatness. You know what I'm saying? So it's like mm-hmm. I'm not going to be the one that get they, they got outshined or out outworked or outgraded or outsung or none of that. That's not going to be me. You know what I'm saying? So. I, I find that competition to be very rejuvenating. Sometimes me just being uh, great makes uh, people say, oh, you talking bad about me? Hey, bro, I feel good. You talking bad about me? Something good happened to me. You talking bad about me? Mm-hmm. You can't bear on people like that because then you're going to start to be afraid of greatness. Nope. nope. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Mm. Influence from my surroundings. Yeah, yo. Support, yo. Those things want to make you feel comfortable growing. You got to feel comfortable in growth. It's going to be uncomfortable, yes, of course, but not forever. Yeah, it's temporary. What's one of your favorite songs that you've done? One of my favorite songs that I've done? Oh, like, out of all the millions of freestyle, I'm talking freestyles, songs, even content on your page that hasn't been put onto the music platform, what, should, what was your favorite, like, if you had to pick one? If I had to pick one, um, I'd probably say, like, uh, Mr. Crocker. I would say Mr. Crocker because my man's made that beat for me off the fly. It's amazing. I made that song up at Harvard. It was feeling like, my nigga, I'm tired and shit. Ain't no food in my fridge. Finna go hit a lick or something. Yeah. That, I, that's I really feel like real, Mr. Crocker though. put you on a bed. I'm not gonna lie. Music-wise, I remember that song. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you post a lot of stuff. I think that was the song that really popped off for you. Do you feel wow. like any other songs, like, when you posted it, went crazy, like... Have you had one of those moments? Another song I like a lot is like, again, like, I only love my mother, sister, cousins, and my brothers. I had to say brothers again, because all of my niggas is Ken. You know what I'm saying? I felt like a lot of people who I love, love that song, and they felt okay. like they could connect to it, right? So I realized, like, if I want to get the people that I love to love what I'm doing, I got to make them feel like they're a part of it, you know, like inspiration. That's true. So even even with the pain, it's like I still let, let my family know, like, we still fight the same pain, the same battles, and it be just that deep with, with the streets. We don't got to argue and hate each other and face yeah. the same pain. We can help and heal each other because we're losing the same people, you know? Favorite song. That's what's up, cuz. That's what's up. Do you have oh, yeah, anybody and, and you want Oh, oh, oh. Ma- matter of fact, I'm so sorry. Cold nights. <laughs> cold nights. Dark days, cold nights. Cold nights. I'm sorry, right? Because... Because I had that verse, right? 18, I dropped out of school. Ain't never been no college, dude. You don't want no problem, dude. I got more brain than farmers, dude. You feel me? Like, I made that verse to hop on my man song. He was so happy to get on that. He was recording my music a little bit. You feel me? Up the veil. Um, what's your name again? Um, what's your name again? Uh, Kool-Aid. Your real name was Cabrizi. You feel me? Cabrizi. Put the city, yeah. To record my music. Um, his man's, what's your, what's your man's name? I forgot your man's name, right? It was me and, uh, I think, Amar in the booth. Stop. Your man's like that. He burning you on this bitch, yo. <laughs> Breezy like, I don't even rap. I don't even rap. And then he took me straight off and said, we going to do something it. else. And I said, I said, okay, right? We ain't do nothing else. And it's the first time I ever been in a booth somebody said, oh, I can't hear you on the song. Um, Or oh, I'm going to fuck you mixing up. It's the first time I experienced that, so I ain't no better, right? So I was waiting on something else. I said, I can't wait no more. I showed Deja for real. And she said, she said you thought that she think that shit cute? 18, I dropped out of school. Never been to college. You think that shit cute? And I'm like, no, it's not about that. It's just what it, what it really is. She's telling me I'm wasting my, my, my talent and, and my brain. I'm smarter than what, I, what I'm trying to do. You are very smart, yeah. And it's like, all right, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to be on Instagram. Fuck it. Made that song, jump, did a video. And it's like, can't nobody take shit away from me. Not him, not nobody. Mm-hmm. Not nobody. So that, that's what that meant to me for that. Not nobody. Same dude seeing me again at the movies with my dad. Not mentioned to my dad in Baltimore. I ran into him again. Because how, that's how meditation, meditation works. Hey, what's up, mm-hmm. yo? See, you doing your thing. Yo. Never forget, yo. Never forget. I'm an elephant. You can't move an elephant. You can't push an elephant. And he ain't never going to forget. For real. Mm. For real. That's my favorite song. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, um, you got anybody that it's you want to... Um... Hold on, let me go back. It's really real. They know. Read the comments. They know. Yeah. Is there anybody that you want, like that you've been looking lately to feature, or to have um, on your song, one of your songs? Yeah, or if you well, could be on anybody's song, what would you, who would you want to work with in the city, God, or out the city? Scar and Keith in the city for real. They the best artists I've ever heard from here. Um, mm-hmm. Scar and Codeine, like nah, for real. Let them sing you a song, right? You gonna be like? Yeah, tell them send me something. 
You know, my dog, my dog be saying, my coach be saying shit. I heard everything. He's little niggas drop. I'm not impressed. You feel me? Like, humbly speaking, no one drives me to want to go make something with them. I don't feel, oh, no, Jay Grimes. He is great. Jay Grimes. Jay Grimes is great. He up there, yo. Mm-hmm. He up there. Um, What's that? What's that? Uh, 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 Jay Grimes is up there. He, he, he one of those lyricists. Like, like, uh, he just one of those lyricists, yo. It's like, you can okay. tell he is better than a lot of people. You ain't got to say much. Everybody not on his level, yo. That's, I'm one of those people. You know when you're open mind, I'm better than people. But ain't got to say it. I ain't, I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to keep working yeah. to get better. No one's trying to be the best. No one's trying to be better. No one's trying to advance in the skill of or the art of music or the mental capacity it takes to be that depth. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not in no in no competition with nobody. I'm not trying to, I'm trying to seek knowledge. Who got wisdom? I'm over there. Mm. Who got some game? I'm over there. Who? Who, who, who doing what I'm doing better than me? I'm over there. I don't care what nobody doing. What numbers they doing? I can't grow from that. I can't grow from your numbers. Moving. Numbers are illusions. That's not African mathematics. What is that? That's nonsense to give you a poison to make you feel dopamine release and you feel good about yourself when you're failing for real. That's what that is. I'm chasing the reality of things, not the matrix. Look at J. Book. I, I, I listened to B-more J. Book music too. That's that shit was cool for real. It was, on the interview, she was cool for real. I'm like, yeah, I can see how you doing, what he doing. Yeah, bro, gonna get better. I relate to some things he was saying too. Keep being by yourself, bro. Get, mm. get in your zone. Get in your zone and do the thing where you Shout out to B-more J. Book. Shout out to him. For yeah, sure. shout out B-more J. Book. He on the top of uh, Spotify playlist and all that. That's not normal. That's not regular. Keep doing your thing. I got on no Ghost Rider, right? I've been rapping in shoe cities forever, right? All, all the ones I can make it to. I done, I done spit to Jay Hill before. It was the same thing. No, I ain't got room, okay? My girlfriend had a show tour with the Key Program, and I was on the, I was on the uh, radio station speaking next at night. Show was her. I'm doing a show at the um at the little school. I'm freestyling, you know. I say nice things when I ain't got shit ratchet to say. When I'm in the grave, I throw my money back in the safe. I be straight forward. Mm-hmm. These niggas talking that was today. I was straight forward. I was balling since back in the day, playing Pokemon, thinking how I could capture a race. Hit my church today, thinking how I could capture some faith. Diamond Pikachu and Lightning send him back in the space. He got big bark. I bite him, put him back in his place. The crowd going ridiculous. Hit like he ain't never yeah, heard this before. You feel me? He's like, oh yeah, my man been patient. He been this. I'm making a one on Ghost Rider, so I'm on that. Do my thing. Do with the one on come in there, and he posted his before me, even though I was there before him. And I realized he wasn't going to post me at all. And he posted other people as he kept going. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. I'm gonna do my own thing. Mm. I got my own numbers. And he surpassed the people he who he posted that had more followers than me. Oh, cause it's a genuine response. I ain't buying my followers. It's real. It don't mm. need no help. I seen that for myself. I didn't get this courage. Oh, why ain't you gonna post me? I must be worse. I must be better. I must be the best. Do you hear me? For real, yo, I'm telling nobody how to hide what they move and funniness make you different what you're doing. You you a train, you're not gonna stop for one passenger. Playing on tracks. See you mm-hmm. later. <laughs> I love the energy. I love the confidence. I love the fact that. You are self-aware. You know your talent. That's definitely great energy there. Thank you so much. Okay, before we wrap up, anything else you want to say to the people? Anything? Last parting words. We all know we got the Quark song coming soon. You want to have some new music and some new projects, hopefully some new videos. I personally, I love the Call Freestyles. That's my vibe from you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm With some um, parting words you have for the people. Yeah, man. You know, follow my links. They're going to be in the bio. Um, Anybody want to learn how to do the forex, holla at me. Uh, if you want to um, pursue education and careers, you graduate from Baltimore City Schools, DM me. I'll get you plugged in. Um, Just keep being yourself. Spread love today. Uh, don't 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 let the worst of the, um, the things get, get to you. Look at the bright side. You know, show some love today. Reach out. Don't ask for nothing. Give to somebody. Give to a stranger. Um, yeah, yo, just spread love, yo. We can support each other to the top, man. It's only us. Oh, okay. You on this call right now, you know what you got to do to uh, to make to make the world better. Play your role. That's all you got to do. Play your part, you know? Play your part, yo, and making the world better for the day. Just for the day. And if you do it, you're going you gonna to realize that, that somebody close to you did it too. Because it's, it's a network on the brain. We connected just like that. So realize we're connected more than we're different. It's Baltimore, yo. We, all we got is us, for real. Yes, all we got is us, Baltimore. So I don't know. Y'all got to get it together. That's not, that's not, this is love, yo. I'm gonna tune into every one of these. You got uh, 98 to go, right? Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. Gallery and a place to be. Shout out to you, TMM Cash, Money, Money Motivated. Money Motivated. Shout out to the whole team. Thank you for being number two. This is this was great. I love the energy that you brought. Keep doing what you're doing. You people are watching, and they, of course, you see it here. They love you. They support you. Be behind you, 100. percent That's it. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you, all. Thank you, fam.